Hey loves, welcome to my channel, The Bonnie True Tarot. I am your reader, Anetta, and we are going to tap into Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energy to see what's going on and see what messages Spirit has for us to help us along our healing journey, okay? All right, collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what message do the collective need to know about their person? Let's see, let's pull on divine. Let's see, let's get a, okay, let's get an um, overall message. And then we're going to pull on the energy separate. I'm going to get another deck, but we're going to see what Big Baby got to say. When it comes to the message. All right, let's go. Let's, let's see if we can get it. Mm, I'll take that one. Thank you. Now, big baby, I do not read in reverse. Not unless I'm led to, but um, nine times out of ten, whether it's time in reverse or in the upright. They always get read in the upright. Oh, them two. Okay. Oh, they said it. Okay, a couple of more. All right. I heard you. Let's go. Uh-huh. Ooh, damn. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, there you go. There's the message. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have turn around. So somebody's turning around or somebody wants you to turn around or... Maybe it's something that you have to look back on. Uh, something that you probably don't see coming. Turn around. Let's see. Somebody want to turn. And look. We pulled the blank card. This the only blank card in the deck of over 300, almost 400 cards. So something's not there. When you turn around, something's not there. It could be a Libra or it could happen in Libra season. You or your person or this, yeah, this situation or something like that. Oh, what's up to that? They have a low IQ. So somebody wants you to turn around, but they ain't got nothing there to turn around to. That's what I'm getting. In first position, is nothing there. So some of you guys, you probably could be turning around looking at something that's not there. That's what I'm getting. Third party is jealous of you. Okay, so there's a third party. That's the reason why there ain't nothing there when you turn around. A secret third party. Damn. It's like, nah. Look. That's because this karmic wanted to destroy this connection. And it's nothing there. Oh, this was a painful ending collective. This third party wrecked havoc in your connection. Damn. Now, the third party can be a person, place, a thing, but the only reason why I say it is a person is because these feelings here with this jealous energy, that's a person, okay? A person that didn't mind being a motherfucking secret. Why? Because they wanted to destroy the connection with your person anyway. Something came to a painful ending because this is this smack in the middle of your reading. Collective. Painful ending. So when this karmic destroys your connection with your person, oh fuck yeah, that shit hurt it. It did. And this is the reason why there's nothing in first position. So, we have hard head here. Yeah, your person was hard headed as shit. Couldn't tell them no nothing. Y'all had a whole lot of arguments. Mm hmm. Y'all did. Could have, a, you guys could have had a whole lot of arguments about this third party. That you knew your person was dealing with. That's what I'm getting, Collective. Because damn sure this third party knew about you. Living written free in their head. Oh, 
Or is it your person that's having a lot of arguments about you, collective? That's why nothing is there. That's why they're jealous of you. Is your person having a whole, a whole lot of arguments with the third party? This is why you're living rent-free in their head. This is the reason why they want you to turn around and here go motherfucking girl fight. <sighs> it's a girl fight because your person want to start over. Can we start over? Because they just want a peace of mind. Because it is a karmic cycle. That they are being divinely guided through. All because they know that you don't hate them. Even though they was using black magic. With a false twin flame. That vowed this is not over. Because you know, <laughs> they broke their own heart. And they can't believe that shit. Because the grass wasn't greener. They knew they wasn't the grass greener. And then plan backfired. Mm -hmm. They got a secret love child. And your person's heart is still unhealed. You could be dealing with a Gemini. That is jealous as fuck. Because you on your chill vibes. Your person want to come back home. They want you to unblock them. Energetically or physically. <laughs> this Scorpio. That made a huge mistake. And they do love you. And you mad at them forever for leaving. But they want you to open up this Leo or it's happening in Leo season. They want to know why did you do that? Somebody going to jail. Somebody going to jail, physical jail, spiritual jail, and they over here losing their mind. Yeah. It's making me feel like spiritual jail because they have a secret addiction. And they need your forgiveness for because people are talking. Mm, shit. They talking and so now they want their lip back. They want their lip back because they burnt them bridges. And now they in deep regrets because it's some old spell work. That didn't leave things the same. So. Okay. Well, damn. With this turnaround. Oh, angels got your back. Look. <laughs> Collective. Turn around, baby. Your angels got your back, okay? You go to the honey bone. They got your six. Yep. They got your six. They got your back from losing everything. Or because your person is losing everything, your angels got your back. This is not coming to you. This is somebody outside of you. They want you to turn around because they're losing everything, but angels got your back. Yeah, because they don't woke the fuck up. They don't woke the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Angels got your back. Uh-huh. Because you turned your back. So, therefore, you facing your angels, baby. Face to face. Your angels got your back because you turned your back. And that made your person wake the fuck up. Spirit team on that ass. I can't make this up. Let's go. What about this girl fight? Super duper bad wanting revenge. What about this girl fight? Let's see. Third party envious collective. They want to fight about it. They want to fight about it. They super duper mad. Why? Because your person turned around and turned their back on them. Ooh, that's what I got. Oh, because they a dead be dead. Ain't that about a bitch? <laughs> they want to fight you because your 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 person turned their back on them and they a dead be dead. <laughs> yeah, that's why the angels got your back. That's your lightweight. Fuck that shit. You living rent free in both their heads. Mm -hmm. Especially this this jealous third party because whatever they was doing was it came to a painful ending with your person. What is shit there? It wasn't shit there. So it wasn't shit with you, and it wasn't shit with this third party. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. Your person, they just shoes bad. 
they do the bad shit to the to the wrong to the wrong people, and they do the, they do the right shit to the wrong people. It's like they got their shit flip flop. I hope I got that out right. <laughs> I don't know, but let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about this blank energy in first position? Ain't nothing there, baby. Ain't a crumb there. There ain't no reason to turn around this one hard headed. Some of you guys, hey, I'm gonna tell you, hey, are you still hard headed? I, 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 no, not my collective. Uh, uh, okay, okay. All right, all right. They corrected that one real strong. I know that's right, collective. Uh huh. Ain't nothing there in this workplace affair with this thug. <laughs> Ain't nothing there. Now they got legal matters and shit, spiritual or physical. Okay. Shit, probably got some damn child support or got to pay some alimony. Uh-huh, but ain't nothing there. In the workplace affair with a thug. So either this thug had this workplace affair or your person was fucking with a thug at the workplace and they had an affair. Now they got legal issues. Now, mm -hmm, now they got to say goodbye. And this is the reason why you said goodbye is what I heard. Okay, thank you for correcting that one. Yep, you separated. You secluded yourself collective. Okay, it could have been a pregnancy. It could have been a fake pregnancy. It could have been a pre pregnancy scare, a possibility, or something like that. Yeah. Yep, yep. You fed up. So that makes me feel like this ain't the first time that you had a issue with your person, Divine Feminine, when it comes to outside workplace affairs. That's what it look like. <laughs> or people outside the connection that they work with. You know, they was putting in work with or some old shit like that. Putting in work to have a secret third party. This secret third party hard headed too. Mm hmm. Towards your towards your person. That's what I'm getting. Because shit, if you're willing to be a secret, damn sure don't want no smoke with you, collective. But they hard headed towards your person. Let's go. What can you tell me about this? Huh. Triggers round and round and round and round. That's why. What about this round and round energy? What, what's this round and round? Thank you. So this is this is this this right here is lifetimes. Yep, cycles. Uh huh. Triggers and lessons. Third party. Yep. Yep, it's finally over is what I heard. Round and round and funeral. That's why they jealous because they probably went round and round with your person all the time and that shit is a wrap. Now this is a crazy cycle X because that <laughs> cycle has closed. Okay? That, that love spell is too late. It's gone. Damn. And so this third party jealous of you because things has ended? It's almost made me feel like this third party is somebody that's always there or always been there or something like that. You know, like a rebound ass motherfucker. Yeah, living in the moment and shit. Sex addiction. Yeah. It's it, it no strings attached is what I'm hearing. Yeah, your twin left you hanging, collective. Okay. And now they got bad news that put them in their feelings. They over here praying. Praying about a family or praying that uh, uh I heard praying over a family. Uh, yeah, toxic and karmic lesson. So they got some bad news and they trying to heal and pray and meditate from the bad news that they got about a family that that family ain't theirs is what I heard. It, it, yep. Shit. That's, that, that's what I heard. Not, ha <laughs> not happy. Uh-uh. Not happy and fed up. This your person towards this third party. Mm -hmm. That's why the third party jealous. Cause shit, your person is fed up with the third party and going, going through this shit. This third party triggered your person. Okay. This third party is your person's karmic lesson. That's what I'm getting. You can't tell me about this secret third party. Will this third party willing to be a secret? What kind of goofy ass shit is that? Backstab. Third party either backstabbed your person or they could feel backstab. Yeah. Let's see. I don't hustle. What's the for you? Bad crack. This this third party backstabbed your person. 
Uh-huh. Let's see. Ooh. Especially if they work with them, put in work with them or something like that. Yeah, secret accounts has been revealed. Secret accounts is in the reverse. It has been revealed here, okay? What's been with twin flame left you hanging? You have your person. Because they realize what the, the, the truth that this third party them backstabbed them, they ask, mm-hmm. Now look it. Now they understand. Then now they starting to see that they, they shouldn't have did this right here. And it's because they left their twin hanging. It, 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 yeah, the truth came out. They backstabbed their twin. They left them hanging, okay? But the secrets of these accounts is out. And this third party has secrets accounts. And it's out. Yeah. Yeah. If, you know what? Let's let's get one more on this because I'm, I'm something ain't right here. What can you tell me about this secret account in the reverse? Let's see. With that twin flame at the bottom, what's this? I mean, damn, that's an ultimate betrayal or some old shit. That's shady. Shady, shady lady. <laughs> that's my shady lady with a baby card. Okay. Yep. Losing sleep. Okay. Okay. Losing sleep because they were shady and they missing you. Yeah. And now it's too late or they feel like it's too late. Okay. 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 They backstab you. So collective, your person came up as a karmic partner to you. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the third party just doing this. Your person was doing this to you too. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like your person turned karmic on you. And that became a third party because that's outside of you. Like, that's foreign as fuck. Like, what the fuck is this shit? And it's because of the third party. That's for some of you guys, okay? All right, what can you tell me about karmic want to destroy this connection? Some of you guys, your person did because they, shit, they went up, they was trying to do something else. They, didn't, they was jumping into the unknown with this blank card in the first position. Ain't nothing there. So, yeah, look at, yeah, ghosted. They ghosted you. They ghosted you. Yeah, they didn't want to have no remnants of you or no memory of you or this third party. They want your person to have no memory of you. They wanted your person to ghost you. Yeah, they wanted you to, they wanted your person just out. Yeah. And it's because they, it's almost like they, this third party wished that they, your person felt towards them like they did towards you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. They have a love message and karmic lesson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what can you tell me? What else can you tell me about this uh, karmic that wanted to destroy the connection? Also, too, what I'm getting is the third party that did come in between you and your person. Shit. They ghosted your person, too. That's what we got over here. It's, it's coming around over here. It seemed like it was always there then. Uh -huh. That's why it's a painful ending because your person was hard-headed to the fact that this third party always was capable of ghosting or being unfaithful or something like that. Yeah. Bad credit. Love messages in the reverse. This this third party devalued, devalued your person. Yeah, fake busy. This third party devalued your person. I mean, they didn't give a fuck about your person. Mm -mm. They always argue with them, hard headed towards them. Now they living rent free in your person's head. Mm -hmm. Massive regrets over this motherfucker because of a love child. Uh huh. Yep. Now they under pressure because they fed up. They fed up because they this sex addiction they not happy with. So if this and of course that's what I see, you know, especially with love child. Yeah, it was they was a. This was a somebody that they was addicted to their sex, addicted to having sex, you know, just pleasure, pleasure boating with them. And because of a love spell. So this third party could have put a love spell over your person. And now it's too late to fix it with you, Divine Feminine. You over here self-loving on yourself. You secluded and separated yourself. Now your masculine has become a psycho ex. They obsessed 
okay? Because they love you and they feel like a jackass because they wanted things their way with their twin flame. The one that they had a family with that they had to say goodbye to or they did say goodbye to and now they have bad news. You could say goodbye to this twin flame union and that's bad news to your person. Yep. Because of reckless love while he was married. And that's the karmic lesson. Now, now you're on your spiritual journey. GPS, spiritual, yep. Going through an ego death. That's this masculine. It could be feminine, whoever. But I'm picking up on whoever's in that masculine energy. I picked up on this energy the other day. And it's still here. Yeah. So somebody closing out a cycle. Or this pregnancy, the cycle is closing out. Um, I'm getting... Um, uh, Somebody could be, we have a shocking news. Um, I'm so sorry, but I, I got to say what I see. For some of you guys, somebody could be losing their child, my condolences, or having a miscarriage or something like that. That's what I mean, miscarriage. I don't mean like, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. But it, please don't make it fit if it don't resonate. But that's what's here, closing cycle, pregnancy, shocking news. You know, it's like uh, um, miscarriage energy. So I'm so sorry um, to speak on it, okay? Uh, yeah, but, um, and it could be because somebody found out that the child is not theirs because we do have fake pregnancy, fake news here with the DNA. Yeah. And they, 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 they could have found out that the child, child is not theirs and therefore they're turning their back because it was all a dream. It was all an illusion. Now they're bump, bumping heads with this third party Jezebel. Okay. They losing sleep, trying to figure out how they gonna move, let go, be free. Because they over here loving you, but they're blocked. You rejected them. You living your best life. You living in the moment. Divine feminine. You, 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 some of you guys are moving in silence with the secrets and running. You're moving in silence here. You know, that's how you're trying to cope with this or your person is trying to cope with the fact that you're moving in silence. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, your person, they're they're really in their in their head, in their emotions, in their in their mind. It's it's almost like they just can't help but to keep thinking and reminiscing and regretting the choices that they made against the collective. Okay? What can you tell me about too many arguments? What can you tell me? Thank you. Karmic ties. See, I told you. They always arguing about you. Collective. Twin flame at the bottom of the deck in my way. And secrets. So, okay, so this is making me feel as though divine, yeah, secrets in divine feminine. Twin friends, my way, secrets in divine feminine. Yeah, running. So running towards, that's what I'm getting, living in the moment. No, divine feminine, you running away from me, shit block. Because <laughs> they left you hanging. <laughs> because of a Jezebel that was a trickster, they was phony. And now they living through the karma. And now you see they true colors. And now they heartbroken and losing sleep because they trapped feeling ashamed about this toxic lifestyle. This divine masculine got some shocking news. And they trying to find their, find their way towards you, but you said goodbye. You moved on. You let them go. You secluded. You separated yourself. And now they want to come and do a love spell on you because they're watching you. They're hovering. They're policing you because they want this romance with you. Okay. Well, there you go. That's shit. And this is why they're having so many arguments. Yeah, because of the memories of this twin flame connection. So, you know, I'm doing no but If you're not a twin or you're not on that journey, I'm talking to my um divine counterparts as well. My high level soulmates, okay? Because that energy is um is is almost have a mirroring effect. Okay, so ooh. Okay, what is this? Fucked up over you because of this karmic, <laughs> this karmic tie, or this karmic tie is fucked up over you, and fucked up over you because the memories. Now they, yep, this twin. Mhm. Mm so they tied to this 
this karmic, but they ooh, they could be arguing with itself a lot, but especially with the karmic. Yep, bumping heads. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Why are they bumping heads? Yeah, reckless love. Somebody fucking fake busy. Ah, somebody oh uh -huh, love hate relationship. So it's almost like shit. They be ghosting each other, or somebody is over here lying about having some type of, you know. Re reckless sex with somebody and it's been illuminated to somebody that whoever they love they hate now because of this rec reckless sex and that's the reason why they was fake busy because they was over here having reckless sex somebody so it's like that's that turning table shit that's what i'm getting right here now they bumping heads with the with the karmic that they tied to what they bumping heads about that's why, yep, massive regrets. Love child. They questioning that child. They not happy that that, that karmic is, is, is shit. They got a kid by that karmic. They feeling under pressure. Look, because the legal matter is in child support and shit. I can't make this up. Okay? Uh-uh. Yeah. And look, divine feminine. Divine feminine. What about divine feminine? They want to keep this a secret from you, divine feminine. Yeah. But here you go. Popping out of that energy. Yeah. Because of the memories of your divine feminine, they don't want you to. They don't want you to know about this fake pregnancy or this pregnancy that's shocking news, and that's their karmic lesson. They're trying to keep that separate from you, okay? Yeah. And they having a whole lot of arguments about you, divine feminine. Your person is secretly reminiscing on over you. We got divine feminine and karmic ties out here in the same motherfucking spirit. Ain't that about a bitch with legal matters? That's like divine justice here. Your person miss you. Mm -hmm. Your person miss you. They want to be free. They want to move on towards you. But they feel ashamed to come near you. Okay? okay. That's why you living rip free in their head. That's why you living rip free in their head. Okay? Yeah, but they policing you. They're stalking you. I'm getting a stalker vibe off of this. Mm-hmm. Yep, because you're over here happily single and they trapped with a motherfucking Jezebel. <laughs> That's all in their feelings and shit. And they over here wishing, wishing they didn't hook up with that Jezebel. They over here ashamed and shit. Now they getting readings to see if that Jezebel is pregnant. And that shock, some shocking news came through that, that reading. And that's a karmic lesson they trying to separate from because they on their spiritual path with their spiritual gifts and true colors. Go ahead with yourself. Okay. That's, what, that's just what it is. Let's go. What can you tell me about living rent free in their heads? The collective living rent free in their person's head. What can you tell me? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you. Sweet talk. Okay, so they, they want to, yeah, they trying to cope. Oh, wishing and coping. Damn. Yeah. They Shit, they wish they wasn't with this damn Jezebel. Because this, this Jezebel is stalking too. But um, that's for some of you guys. But what can you tell me about the sweet talk? They, yeah, they, it's almost like you're, they're thinking about what to say to soften you up or to make the book. I don't like trying to um, not make it as harsh as it is. What, it, what they did with this third party, something like that. Trying to make it not as bad as what it seemed. I, I don't know why they're going to try to do that. Yeah, some of you guys look married with no strings attached. So they're trying to sweet talk their way out of some old bullshit. You could have been committed if you wasn't legally married. Okay, you could have been married in the 5D and not the 3D. You know what I mean? So, but but look, at they over here, look, they trying to sweet talk some shit because, look, at they, they no strings attached, mirroring. So for some of you guys, they thought that you was doing the same thing too. Living that toxic lifestyle, cheating and, and, and no strings attached type of energy. Yeah, they thought they was mirroring you because they didn't good. For some of you guys, they, they thought that shit, you was out there fucking around too. I mean, they found out that wasn't true, not with this unhappy and shit, but that, yeah, they could have accused you. But some of them, I'm getting the energy, they actually believe that you was doing that shit too. Come to find out, no, you wasn't. Mm hmm No, you wasn't. Look at what, look, 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 no strings and mirroring. Again, I can't make this up. He, they they thought they was mirroring back a, a toxic lifestyle. I mean, excuse me, a, a toxic lifestyle. And look at right here, the twin in my way. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. They wanted things their way because they thought that you were doing the same thing that they were doing to you. 
they was out there fucking around with a third party. They thought you was doing the same shit too. And they was wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Divine feminine. They was wrong. That's why they have massive regrets. Because some of them produced the love child. When they was out there thinking that they was doing you do dirty. Because they really believed that you were doing them do dirty. And no, you wasn't. Wow. Especially if they was having an affair with somebody that they work with. Or put work in with. Or something like that. Got money with. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting that work in with. Yeah. yeah. Going to work. Or somebody that they rode to work with. Or something like that having to do with the work workspace. The workplace. Okay. Um, yeah. So, shit. What can you tell me about this twin flame? Running. This is you. In the moment, you're running right now. Right now, you're running from your twin. You got them blocked. You don't want it. You don't want it. Okay, so you guys are not talking. No contact. Yeah, you don't want it. Yeah. And now, your person, they feeling like a jackass because they heartbroken. Because now they see your true colors and they trying to cope with it. Okay? They could have received some type of bad news that they're praying over. You know, they want to, they, they, they meditating there. They have faith that they could get through this bad news. Something, yeah. Because, oh, the bad news is you happily single because they're policing you. They're watching you. And they see that you're happily single. You over here loving on yourself. You over here caring for yourself. And that's bad news to them. Yeah. Because you were their karmic lesson. Now they wish they could be with you. Wow. This Jezebel. They trap with. Mm -hmm. They trap with this Jezebel. This Jezebel energy. This person. This third party. They trap with them. Knowing damn well that they love you. Some of them love you because of your spiritual gifts. The cycle X. Put a love spell on your person or your person put a love spell on you. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. I heard some of them want to put a love spell. They can't stop watching you. They obsess. They, 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 it's, it's almost like they're under a love spell because they love you so because of your spiritual gifts or because this is a spiritual gift to you, collective, that your person is just caught in love with you. They can't let it go. Now with this cycle X, I will say um, you, you, with this spiritual protection out here, yeah. But I, I'm getting more, um, they won't let your any energy go versus going crazy on you because they can't let you go. Now with family and faith busy, you know, rejected. So, you know, it, it, what I'm getting is they're going to pretend like they, they're going to move on. You know, they just going to, you know, live life. But in their energies, they, they like, they can't let you go. They, they obsess, you know, and some of you guys, you are dealing with a psycho ex, you know. So call the police because we do have police out here. So if you have to, yes, do what you got to do. Police and legal matters. So they're going to be going to jail if, if, if you call. Yeah. But they're losing sleep because this cycle is over. It's too late for this romance. Yeah. They wasted too, t too much time. Idle hustle and, hustle and illumination. They wasted too much time. Coming to coming into the truth of you and in in your person or you and them in the connection or the relationship, yeah. And and this divine masculine, you have to say goodbye to, or this divine masculine has to say goodbye. But it's making me feel like you have to say goodbye to this divine masculine. You have to leave them hanging because of their toxic lifestyle. They could have been toxic towards you. They know this. They miss you. And they know the reason why you guys are separated. They, 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 shit. They, they try to, they try to play you with this trickster and this phony energy, and you have to turn your back. And when you turn your back, booyah, your person went into a uh, ego death. They went through a spiritual awakening because they was fucked up over you because of the secrets that they kept. So, no. They look at you as Queen B. <laughs> you are her. All right. Let me stop right there. So, all right, collective. 
Um, your person, yeah, they, they chose wrong. They feeling it. They don't like it. They're trying to see if they can correct it. They know they can't because you're you're done. You turn your back, you're gone. And and they have to live with it. And yes, they, they are fucked up over it, okay? All right, my loves. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.